Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Hey, I want to talk to you for a moment briefly here about freedom of choice. When you look at his life and you're talking about freedom of choice, you need to understand what freedom of choice is. And you need to understand how the system has manipulated, coerced, and trained you to believe that you're actually truly exercising the freedom of choice. When the truth is, when they are providing the choices for you to choose and to pick from, it's not actually freedom after all. Let me explain. In Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19, Moses said, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Therefore, choose life that both thou and your seed may live. Then he goes on to say, in Joshua, this is what Joshua said in, in Joshua 24, 15. If it seem evil unto you to serve Yahweh, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh. Now, that is the only true freedom of choice, given selective choices. In this life, whether you like it or not, whether you believe or disbelieve, it makes it's irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant. There are two powers that are operating in this universe: Almighty Yahweh Himself and the Satan, Satan, Lucifer. And in your life, your life is going to be a direct representative or a reflection of who you serve, who your father is. If you're keeping the laws and statutes and commandments, you're living a holy, clean, pure life, then your father is Yahweh. If you're living immoral and you're living by your own dictates and mandates, then you know who your father is. It is the Satan. And so, hey, that's pretty simple. Now, in this life, we, we got a bizarre behavior that's taking place in what's going on right now. We have a system that provides us choices. And then they tell us to exercise your right of what they call, quote, unquote, <clears throat> freedom of choice. Now, they give you the choices, A, B, C, and D. And then they tell you to exercise your right to choose. Let me explain this real briefly, quick, fast, and in a hurry. The real true freedom of choice is to use the freedom to choose what you want without having any choices. That's the truth, and that's the truth straightway. Wake up.